All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the cheat code of cheat codes, how to automatically edit your images in bulk. So I'm gonna preface this by saying that I really like personally editing each image that I create, and I still do this today, but there is a way for you to automatically edit all of your stock images and save a ton of time in your workflow and maybe increase your productivity by a lot. You basically use a software called Photo Lemur. Uh, nowadays, Photo Lemur has a, a version called Photo Lemur 2.2 Spectre. And this is their website. You go to a website called photolemur.com and you can see a sort of introduction on how the software works. Uh, it's, oh, it's $50 now. Okay, when I, when I bought it, I think it was $20, something like that. And basically, the software is really intelligent when it looks at an image and it can sort of enhance the colors and, and adjust all of the settings that you would probably do as a photographer with Lightroom, but it does it quite intelligently and it works surprisingly well. And it does it in bulk. It's pretty amazing software. And when you download it, it looks like this. And you can take raw images straight from your camera. You'll have to check to see if your file, si your file type is supported but NEF files, as come from my Nikon camera, are supported. You just drag them here, you hear a nice chime, and it begins deciding how to edit your images. And then when you export your images, it, t it can take a while because it is editing your images in full size, and it will just give you a folder of retouched images that are automatically, auto, auto magically uh, enhanced and ready for use in stock. I, I used the software for a few weeks, and even though I really did not enjoy allowing the software to automatically retouch my images, I found that it made my workflow really easy, or really fast. It, it really is, it's, it's an amazing software, and I think this short video is quite valuable if you're looking for a way to increase your productivity as a stock photographer. It doesn't add any metadata, so you'll have to add all of that yourself. Some things that I've noticed is that it doesn't work well on dark photos. It really tends to bring out noise in the dark areas of photos, and the colors tend to bleed. I don't know why it does that, but for example, a yellow leaf on green grass, you'll start to see there's like a millimeter of yellow bleed into the green colors of the grass. It's a really strange effect. This is basically what the software looks like. It pretty much works that simply. It is a pretty amazing tool for stock photographers. It, it could help you out a lot if, if, you, if you would just like to increase your productivity a lot. Yeah, check out Photo Lemur, and that's pretty much it. I, I hope you guys enjoyed these last three videos from this Saturday, the earnings from November, the file storage, and Photo Lemur. Now I'm going to get back to my regular life. And if you didn't watch those other videos, then I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for your support. You can like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you uh, in the next video. See you around.